So these are your hoses that are gonna go all the way back to uh, where your hydraulic power source is coming from. Um, this right here is your um, remote hydraulic power unit. Uh, this is the remote control system. Uh, you can run it manually um, when it's off. When it's on, you uh, flip the on trigger there. And then the transmitter itself doesn't have an on or off button. And you control it this way, so down, up. When you let go, it goes back to neutral. Controls are your main valve here that's going to have your um, motor uh, for the actual wheels to rotate. This is going to be the pressure that's um, that the, uh, I should say the back pressure that the wheels are experiencing. This is the cylinder pressure. Um, back here is how you open and close the cylinders. So to close the cylinders, you lift up. To open the cylinders, push down. Up the remote. When we connect all of our hoses, you want to have the engine off, no fluid transferring at all, just because uh, you, it's harder to do that when pressure is flowing. Um, so we're going to set up, if you look over here, this is mounted to two forks. Uh, you can put spacers under here, depending upon, we gave it a pretty big gap, so whatever you're mounting to, to make up that difference, just put spacers or something to, um, to wedge in between and then tighten down. Uh, your, your bolts here. Uh, there's an opening on this side here um, so you can get pipe in and out. Um, I'm going to put the other trolley on. Okay, this one's equipped with extending and retracting cylinders. So these will actually pull itself in. And then you can adjust the clamping pressure. Um, Hoses are color coded, so you just match up your color codes. This one here is black. I'm gonna go on this end here. This one here is blue. So this one's gonna go over here. Red one here. And then on top of here, these are you have two sets of what we call side rollers. This is to keep everything contained in those grooves. So up here, you have two sets, or you should say one set. Um, this right here is going against your loop. Um, so this one out here. So, and these three holes are based on, they're not a specific size. It just means when you see something trying to either walk or trying to, or you're trying to keep it contained, you're just moving that in so you're actually applying um, friction to that groove. And this will, uh, as the pipe is going through, it will keep itself centered from that pipe, but that keeps everything in the groove so you're getting as much traction as possible.